One of the most compelling arguments that one can make for the teaching of creationism or intelligent design or so-called alternate theories in the classroom along with evolution is the idea of fairness. If you're going to hear one side of the story, it only seems fair to hear the other side of the story. And I think most Americans, for, for most Americans, that argument resonates. It sounds just great. You want to hear both sides of an issue. Now, the reason this doesn't apply in science is actually pretty straightforward. It's not a question of hearing both sides of an issue. It's a question of whether or not the scientific process is going to be allowed to work. So ask yourself, how do scientific theories, how do ideas and concepts get into a curriculum or into a textbook? The answer is, these ideas originate in the minds of scientists. They propose them. They do research. They develop evidence. They engage in peer review which means they publish their findings, they argue with people with whom they disagree, they produce new evidence to answer those arguments, and gradually over time, if the evidence is on their side, they will win a consensus within the scientific community that their ideas are right, or at least that they're valuable and they have something to offer scientific discourse. And when they do that, quite automatically, those ideas will end up in classroom and in textbook and curriculum. The proponents of intelligent design, or creationism, who say it's only fair to consider their ideas, have a very curious idea of what fairness is. Because they're not interested in developing evidence. They're not interested in engaging in this process of peer review, of publishing their work, of going to scientific meetings and trying to win a scientific consensus. In effect, what they want to do is to do an end run around the entire scientific process by appealing to boards of edu education or legislatures to insert their ideas into the classroom even though they haven't won a scientific consensus. So you have to ask yourself, what's fair about that? That every other idea in science has to fight its way through the criticism and analysis of the scientific process, but these ideas claim that they want to be exempt from that process in the name of fairness. In reality, what they're asking people to do is to cheat on the process of science and give them a shortcut that will get into classroom and textbook. That would be very bad science policy and be even worse in terms of educational policy.